Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. I know I was going live at 12 o'clock, I'm a little bit early, I'm 15 minutes early, but I actually have to get away to go and pick um, my girls up from school, so um, I had to jump on a bit earlier, because as usual, teenage children always give you something that you need to um, do for them, which takes up time. So I've decided to jump on earlier. Hey Cheryl, thanks for watching. Um, okay, so what I'm actually going to do today is this roller coaster ride. Um, honestly, this stamp set and this um, die set is um, creating a bit of controversy with people of how to actually make the card go together and this is actually a, a live video that I wanted to do for one of my team members um, Julianne she was keen to she's been struggling with it so um, I decided to pump up, pop, pop on today and just do a quick live video showing you how the pop out mechanism works for the roller coaster ride so there's a little few little knacks that you need to um, to try and do with this roller coaster ride to actually make it fold very nicely um, and just a couple of little tricks and it is a bit of fiddling and a bit of playing around but you will find that once you've done it a few times it'll be easier so I'm just going to flip you forward now and okay Sorry, bear with me while I get you in screen here. Okay, so, and I just need to check out here so I can see what's going on. Um, so I can see your comments. So please feel free, if you're on today, please feel free to comment, ask me questions. If there's anything you need to know um, about what I'm doing or if you've had trouble with this roller coaster ride and you're trying to work it out yourself, um, if there's any questions you have, as I said, please feel free to ask me questions and I'm happy to answer as we go along. And sorry, bear with me, I'm trying to find the live video on my page so I can see comments. Scrolling down, am I there? Hopefully the internet's going to hold out today for us. Um, yes, we're still going. Hey Karen, I can see that you're on. I'm trying to find the video on my... Here I am. Okay. So I can see what's going on. And check out your comments as you comment. Okay. So please feel free to say hello and interact with me while we do this. So what I've actually done, I've decided to use our Rich Razzleberry as my base. And I've actually already done a trial one here. Um working out the mechanism and how um, how it closes up nicely. So the main, and you can see here, closes up nicely, opens back up again. Um, but the main thing that you've got to remember to do is really get your tracks to actually fold upwards. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've got just a bit of Rich Razzleberry as my base and it's cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches and it's scored at four inches for my card base. Okay, so um, this is the set of um, dies that you get. Now this is the roller coaster pop out mechanism. Um, now as you can see in this die that we have here we have two notch marks here. There's, um, I'll pop my hands behind there. So you can see there's a notch mark there and a notch mark there. Now that's to go on the fold of our insert for our card, but we're actually not going to physically fold the insert of the card. This is one thing that is really, really important. So as you can see, I have my piece of card here. I've actually just put a score line on each side of my card to actually know where my fold line is going to be. But you actually don't fold your insert. Okay, so that's one of the things that we um, make sure we make a mental note of, that we don't actually fold the insert. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the Big Shot machine and we're going to place, oh, I need to see if that's in the right spot. Yes, it is. Hey, Charmaine, thanks for joining. Hey, Karen. Um, okay, so what I'm actually going to do is where I've put those notches in my cardstock, and sorry for the shadows here, 
um, I'm out in my living room it's miserable weather and it's very overcast okay so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it face down to have our cutting blade down into our cardstock but we're going to line our edge notches up with those two little cutout pieces okay so where we're actually going to fold our insert so we're going to lay it that we've got it nice and neat nice and even on both sides but with that notch lined up with where we're going to fold the card so Karen and Charmaine do you have the roller coaster set now they do tell you to use your precision base plate I'm not using my precision base plate I'm using just my thin die adapter and my basic platform and I'm going back and forwards two times okay so um, I did use the precision base plate in the first place but honestly it um, cuts out really well by doing that so there you have your cutout piece and as you can see there's a bit of a notch along here where those two bits were okay so now the whole thing is I'm just going to pop all those pieces out and leave them sitting on my big shot okay so pop all your spare pieces out and I'll move the big shot back out of the way okay so now this is the part that takes a little bit of maneuvering and honestly I think you just got to take your time so the first thing what we're going to do is along this bottom line I've got a foam piece of foam and along the bottom line there is already a crease along there but I'm actually going to crease it along there a little bit harder a ruler would be good um, just bear with me while I go and grab myself a ruler I didn't have a ruler out Okay, so along this bottom part here, we're going to score again with my scoring tool from my score pal. And we're just going to score them along here because that is actually going to fold forward. Okay, so now this is where what we do is we just get our fingers in, we manoeuvre our folds. Okay, and this is where you just need to take your time. Slowly, slowly, slowly take your time. Okay, so we have a nice fold forward there. Okay, get my flag out of the way. Okay, so nice crease folded forward. That is going to be the first part of your card when it, when it sits into your base. These here, I still pinch them and fold them. They're going to be the base of the card. Now, the one main thing you need to remember is you're going to play around with this cardstock a bit. So just be careful when you actually play around with it um, how you are folding and how you're... Um, okay, so what I'm actually going to do as well which I've forgotten in this one, but I did do it in my others. I've gone along the top of this track because this one actually has to fold up. Okay, so just with my scoring tool once again, along that line, and go over it a few times. Be careful not to press too hard on your foam mat or you'll end up tearing your cardstock. Okay, so that line and the top line of this track okay and then we're going to fold it over and we're going to go along the bottom part of the track on the opposite side so go over it a couple of times so you can see that you've actually got a nice um, indent happening then we're going to flip it over and we're going to go along the bottom 
same thing again. Now this actually helps when we go to maneuver and pop the track up. Okay, so and the first time I tried this, I was a bit like everybody else. How in the world when we stick this in, do we get the card to fold really nice and flat? And I have had a few attempts at it. I have done a few different um, options. And um, depending on how you want the card to sit, we all want a pop out card. The whole idea is that's the, the idea of this. And it is a little bit challenging, but honestly, once you get the workings of how it's going to work. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pinching that bottom of that track. Okay, so pinching it to get a fold to happen. Then just with my fingernails, I'm bending it back in, popping my fingernail into that back of the track and bending it. And as you can see, I'm pushing the bottom part of the track up. Okay, this is the main key to getting this to fold nice and flat in your card is actually pushing that track up. And eventually what happens is when you maneuver the track, I'm going to do the top part while we're going. So squeezing that bottom part of the track between your fingers to get a nice fold on the bottom. So tell me if you're watching this or if you're watching it back later on, who has cursed with this set thinking, why should I bother? Because honestly, I, I think once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. But it's just the, the fact of knowing where you need to push it. And see, as you can see then again, I'm pushing that track right up. And it just takes a little bit of playing, maneuvering, and you get it to happen. Okay, and the one main thing is I think we're all a little bit scared of pushing it right into to get it to do what we want it to do. But I can tell you the more once you get it to fold where you need it to fold, the more heavy handed and the more you crease it and fold it, the better it, it works. These little flags tend to get in the way a little bit. Okay, and then what actually happens is I get in here with my bone folder, go across the bottom there, make sure that's folded nicely. Even with your bone folder, go along your track, okay? Don't be scared to go along the track. Okay, as you can see there, you've got that track sitting really nice. Okay, so then the main thing is getting it glued into the base of your card. So I've now got it that it's going to fold up really nicely on top of each other. Okay. And as I said, don't be scared to push it down and really, really fold it and get it to fold nicely. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, just with some Tombow, and I find Tombow is really good because you can maneuver it around, just on that bottom base, going to go all the way around the bottom base, okay? And just with my folds where it's going to fold, I'm going to place them into my fold where I want it to sit in my card. So what I've actually done is I've got it flush to the sides with a bit of a strip down the bottom. Okay, so now the thing is with the top. When you fold this card up for the first few times, you've actually just got to maneuver it for the first few times. Once you've got it folded up, there you go. Okay, don't be scared to do that because it does actually end up folding nicely. So now I'm going to pop some Tombow on here. To make that fold in nicely. And I'm just going to squash it down again. Now see how I'm squashing? I was really, really scared to squash this like this when I first did it. 
but I can tell you the more you squash it the better it sits okay now I haven't lined that up very well the one main thing is trying to line it up is probably the hardest thing that you get to do So then once we've got it all lined up, all nice, ready to go, then what I'm going to do is I've actually cut out some of the track in my coordinating colour. And the reason that I've cut that out is um, to add a different colour on the track. Okay, so we've got it folding up nicely, squished it down, pops up beautifully. Okay, so what we're actually going to do, I'm just going to pop that aside. I've got a piece here. Now it's the same mechanism that we have for the beginning of the card. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut along where the track is, the bottom part of the track. Just going to cut along there. Along where you've actually scored. And I've seen a lot of people actually using this piece for the front of their card as well. I'll show you a couple of different ideas that I've had with um, this set. Okay, so, sorry, the points of my scissors, I think someone has cut with my scissors something that they shouldn't have. Okay, so I'm then going to go along the top of this track again. The second track, and this is going to be my piece for the top of the roller coaster. Okay. So what are you thinking, ladies? Okay. All right. So there we have. The top of the roller coaster that's going to slot down in there and just with some liquid glue I'm going to pop some liquid glue on that I'll cut the bottom one out as well okay so we've already cut along the top of that track we're now going to cut along the bottom So Julianne, if you're watching this back later on, I hope this is um, explaining a little bit how that works. Just have to be a little bit forceful in the way that you make sure you bend your track upwards um, and definitely, um, I'm just going to cut a little bit of cardstock here so that doesn't all cut apart, fall apart. Um, so what your main, main idea is, you've got to get that track to bend upwards and bend it upwards and nice and flat and just keep working it and working it and working it until it actually like does actually um, fold flat nicely for you in your card. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue combo on the back of these and we'll line those up. I'm leaving my lid off my tombow and I've dried out a little bit. Oh, there it goes. So you don't need a lot of tombow, just a little tiny bit just to hold it all together. Definitely get those flags, make sure you've got that. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of tombow. Hi Lisa Marie, where are you from Lisa Marie? Just type in the comments and let me know where you're watching from. So this is the bottom part of the roller coaster, so we're just going to line that up. Now you can offset it if you like, 
which I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to offset it so that it gives a bit of a look like we've got the, the basic grey behind, sorry, smoky slate behind, and our lovely rich razzleberry on the top. Just tell me what country are you from Australia, Lisa Marie, or are you from overseas? Thank you for joining me and crafting with me this afternoon. Having a miserable afternoon here in my hometown in um, New South Wales in Australia. We've had constant rain all day. We're supposed to get 100 to 300 mils in the next 24 hours. So, um, yeah, supposed to be very heavy rain. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Offset it just that little bit so that we get, sorry, I've got my head in the way there, so that we get that lovely grey coming through. This actually just reinforces your roller coaster part as well, um, makes it a lot stronger, so that when you actually do fold it up, um, it folds up quite nicely. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is, bear with me, I'm just going to grab my glue dots. This is definitely live video today, isn't it? I keep losing everything. So now it's just a case of, I'm just going to pop some little glue dots on my little cars. I have stamped these ahead of time because it's a little bit fiddly. So I didn't want it taking up too much of our time. So I've got glue dots on the back of my little car. And then I'm just going to sit my little car on the roller coaster part. Okay, so just like so. And I have another little car. So it is a really, really cute set. And honestly, if you master the folding, you will absolutely love this set. It's so cute. Another car. Another car. Okay. Um, I'm just going to decorate that a little bit. Um, okay. pieces here that have fallen on the floor. There's lots and lots of little pieces in this set. Okay. So on the front, I'm actually going to I'm pop that aside. On the front then I decided that I would just do a little um, picture of the roller coaster. Sorry, I am back. What 
a horrible live video I'm doing today. I'm so disorganized. Hence because I had great plans of doing all this. And then as I said, the children throw in a um, thing that they want me to do and it's all my plans go out the door. So anyway, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to stamp. I really should have the rich raspberry, but because I'm improvising here, I'm going to stamp the roller coaster in fresh fig, but I would have normally had rich raspberry. So I'm just going to stamp that um, just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to pop um, a few little cars I'll pop on there. Just going to um, do some little clouds. Do I have some blue? Actually, do some grey clouds. Okay, some of the clouds. So I'm going to stamp off. I don't think I need these clouds to be really dark clouds because we don't actually want dark dark clouds so I'll get some scrap paper and stamp off cloud there okay some clouds in the sky I'm also going to do the sun, I'll ink that up with a bit of our um, Daffodil Delight, pop the sun up in the top, like so, okay, and I'm going to pop some of the little cars, I might actually pop the cute little um, food cart you can go down there so just with some blue dots again I think the thing is we put so much effort into the inside of this card that then when it comes to the outside it's like what do we do okay actually I'm going to take that off because I there is something that I'm going to do along that bottom part I'll pop the little cars on the top, in the screen, yep. Okay, some glue dots on my little cars, some different coloured ones here, that one, some green. So it's just like creating a little bit of a carnival scene really. It is really, really cute, this little set. Okay, like so. A few cars. Okay, I've got some of this beautiful washi tape. I think I'm going to put the stars on it. Just got to find the end. I think that was the end just then. That is the hard part, finding the beginning. Wow, this is childproof. Let me try it, pulling a bit of that up. How crazy is that, not being able to find the end? Is that it there? No. Oh, that's it. Found. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some beautiful washi tape along the bottom there like that. I'm also going to pop another bit. This has got some really, really cute, and I'm just going to fold that around. This one here, so hopefully I'm going to find the end a lot better and a lot quicker than I did on that last one. This is only brand new, I haven't used it yet. Get 
There it is. Okay. I'm going to pop a little stripey bit along there. Hey, Dawn. Thank you for joining me. Where are you from, Dawn? Please feel free to comment. Let me know what town you're watching from. I just love knowing where my videos are getting to. This is just a little impromptu. I was doing this for one of my team members. They wanted to know how to um, how to create the roller coaster ride because it seems to be everyone's nemesis at the moment how to do this card. So, okay, so I'm actually going to. I think I'm going to in the fresh fig. I'm going to take the sentiment. Let the good times roll. I think I'm going to stamp that up in that top section. going to lay that on because it's such a long sentiment it wants to um, lay it down this is a trick with your stamps if they're long and when you go to put them on the block they want to go crooked lay them down and let them go naturally where they want to sit and let the good times roll and I would have used a skinnier block than that and it hasn't stamped very well, but once I get my Stamparatus, bring that down here, see if I can line that up again. Ah, oh, this is scary. Let's see how we went. Oh, not bad. Lining that up a second time. Okay, so I'm going to pop that onto the front now. So, sorry, this is the one here. So we've made the inside I will decorate the inside a little bit better than that but more or less was just to show you how to decorate the front and how to get it to fold up exactly how we want it so I've just got a bit of designer series paper here this is out of the bubbles and fizz designer series paper and it had the lovely Bermuda Bay which I've been using with the rich Razzleberry which is a lovely color combination so I'm just going to on the front just a little bit screw whiff with that one and a bit of Tombow on the back of this one so what are you thinking ladies and there you have it how cute is that and it pops up beautifully inside okay so the main thing is getting this to fold really nicely and making sure that you push your tracks up so that when it actually folds flat, the tracks are actually going up. So that is the main hint with how to get it to sit really nice and flat in a card. And, and I mean, it's a little bit bulky because you've got lots of, you've got the track and you've got lots of cars and things. Um, but yeah, cute, cute little set. And they have lots of lovely little presents. Actually, inside, I may as well do some a bit more. I'll pop the sun up in the corner in the middle. So I'm so sorry. This is such a disorganized live video today. But we've got there eventually. And I'm just going to pop some of the little cars down in the corner. I just want to show you too, like while you're still on and you're watching, I just want to show you a couple of different ideas that I've had with um, doing this card. I'm really loving the acetate base cards. I don't know whether you've actually seen the acetate base cards, but um, they are super, super cute. And I decided that I would do one with this roller coaster ride. And I'll pop a little present over there. So there you go, the inside's decorated as well. So what I decided to do was I decided to do an acetate card using the roller coaster ride. So, and sorry, it has been sitting on my desk, so it has actually flattened down a bit. I've had things sitting on top of it. This is the roller coaster ride one that I did with the acetate. So as you can see, you've got a beautiful clear acetate front 
and you can see through so I haven't actually finished yet but I was going to pop some balloons and things on here and probably the food cart and a couple of little cars in the background there but isn't that such a cute way now what I've done here I've used some of our foam tape and I've put the foam tape behind so I've made it popped up on the front so that you can still see the tracks but I, as I said I haven't finished yet I haven't popped the cars and things on but that's another way of using this instead of worrying about trying to get it to go flat in your card you could actually pop it up on the front of a card like that even one of my teammates, she actually um, did a box card. Hi, from Queensland. Missed the first bit. Watch it later. Yeah, sorry. It's a bit of a mismatch, Dawn. A bit of a mismatch live video today. I, I just jumped on quickly to do it. And as I said, my children asked me to do some things. And I was actually going to have a whole hour to do this. And now I've actually got about five minutes. And I've got to go and grab my kids from school. Um, okay, so that's just the acetate look. Um, but a beautiful, fun way. The main thing with acetate is you've got to watch where you glue and you've got to pop something on behind to cover up all your glue marks behind. So what I did was I, I had a really nice Daffodil Delight backing there behind my roller coaster. So there you have it. That is my quick, quick um, explanation of how to use the roller coaster. But as I said... The one main thing is you definitely make sure you fold forward here. Do not fold your insert piece in half. You just put your fold notches on the sides. You line up your framelit with those two notches on the sides. Um, and then make sure that you fold um, your track upwards so that when it folds flat, it's a, and, and you can see when it folds flat, it slides upwards. Okay. So hopefully that explains how to make that sit a lot nicer for you. And then when it folds, like when it opens up, it sits really nicely with your track looking quite nice and um, level and flat. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of fiddling, but honestly, each time I've done it, it's got easier and easier. The main thing is scoring along your tracks. Um, scoring on the right side to make it fold the right way is probably one of the main things and making sure your tracks fold up forwards, um, sorry, upwards. So that's about the only tricks that I can say and there's two cute little cards using the beautiful Let the Good Times Roll bundle in um, our occasions catalogue. So if you're new and this is the first time you've watched me, please feel free to share my video. Um, for everybody that shares a video, I do a monthly draw. So if you share and tag somebody in my video on Facebook, you need to comment in the comments that you have shared and tag a person in the comments and you'll get an entry into the draw to win some free stamping up goodies, which I draw at the end of each month, every month. So um, this month's draw, I know everyone's been waiting, going, what are we going to win? What are we going to win? This month's draw is going to be the Peacock stamp set. So um, the main thing is please share and share away. If you haven't liked my business page, please feel free to like my business page and turn on the notifications. And under the notifications, you'll see a C first. You need to check that C first. If you don't say the check the C first, you may not see when I post um, on my business page. It's just the way Facebook does it. So if you're watching this back later, please feel free to share. I'd be happy for you to share onto um, your timeline um, and tag a friend to go into the draw to win my beautiful Peacock free stamp set for the month. So thank you all and as I said, there is some specials with our Stamping Up at the moment. It's celebration time for every $90 you spend. Um, you get a free celebration item. There is three new celebration items, two level ones and a level two celebration item out at the moment. Beautiful um, designer series paper. I just want to show you that quickly. I've got five minutes before I've got to go and get the kids. I've just received my order. This paper is to die for. So I just want to show you how pretty this paper is. And this is what they call Springtime Foil Specialty Paper. And it is scrumptious. OK, 
Okay, every single sheet of this, now we get, what is it, three of each? Must be three of each. So you've got beautiful flowers and it's in that beautiful rose gold, pinky gold. We've got beautiful leaves with some gold flowers. Look at the shimmer on that. Isn't that just beautiful? So we've got three of those. We've got some beautiful spots and they're out of the rose gold. Once again, I've seen some people doing um, some ombre effects with um, their sponge brayers with this, which is looking quite nice. And we've got three beautiful, what is this? Silver striped. Okay, so that is a level one item available now at the moment with our celebration items. So if you wanted to um, pop on over to my store, if you go to my website, which is www.stampingwithdonnag.com, or if you're on my business page, which you would be if you're watching this, you can click the Shop Now button. And if you wanted to place an order, you if you place an order for $90 or more, you can qualify and get this beautiful foil designer series paper for free. And everybody loves a freebie. So as I said, please share, share, share away. Um, I would be happy for you to share my video and tag your friends. And until next time, keep coming back to my business page because I do live videos quite often on my business page and I always share what the latest deals are and what's coming up. And if you're a customer of mine and you reserved your Stamparatus, please check your emails because emails, if you were in the first reservation window, the emails have gone out for you to finish your order. So you actually have to go in and confirm your order and it allows you to add some extra things um, to your order. So if you were in that first reservation window, you should have received an email. So if you haven't received that email, please check and make sure that you haven't missed that email because you actually have to go in and finalize your order for your Stamparatus. It's not going to automatically come. You actually have to go in and physically finalize the order. And the reason that they've done that is to allow, if you wanted to add extra things into your order, it allows you to do so at that time. So um, it's allowed you to add, because the Stamparatus was $85, it's allowed you to add, because you only have to spend five more dollars and you um, qualify for a free celebration item. So um, it's very worthwhile to just jump on in and add a little bit extra, even if it's some Stampin' Up Dimensionals just to um, add to your order and you'll qualify for a free celebration item. You could get this beautiful foil paper. So thank you all for watching and until next time, have a lovely day and bye for now.